Joseph Louis Proust occupies a unique place in the history of chemistry, with his work and his age being exactly intermediate between those of Lavoisier in the 1780s and Dalton two decades later. He was born in Angers in 1754 and educated there and at Paris, but spent his career at different places in France and Spain, first going abroad in 1778 to Bergera, a town in the Basque country in northern Spain, where he worked as a professor of chemistry for two years before returning to Paris to work at a teaching institute set up by Jean-Francois Pellatre de Rosier. Shortly after the Montgolfier brothers' first flights, Pellatre de Rosier also began to invest in hot air balloon travel. And in 1784, when he made a record-breaking flight, Proust was the companion he took with him. Two years later, however, Proust returned to Spain to teach chemistry, and it was there where he did his most important work. First at the Royal Artillery School at Segovia, where he spent seven years, and later, during another seven-year spell, at Madrid. At Segovia, he showed that compounds are always prepared from the same definite proportions of their components, but that some metals, such as tin, can be oxidized to give different products with different states of oxidation. This was considerably beyond the work of Lavoisier, who had revolutionized chemistry when he showed that metals gain weight by combining with oxygen. Dalton would later go much farther by explaining that definite proportions arise because only specific numbers of atoms are involved in chemical reactions. A question that remains, therefore, is did Proust ever think of this? Well, he used the word atom in many of his publications, but not as a cause for definite proportions, more to mean a trace amount of something. Thus, it seems the idea of definite proportions itself was quite new and profound, and it was left for Dalton a short time later to come up with atomic theory. Nonetheless, Proust remained a celebrated scientist in France, especially after a protracted dispute with Claude Louis Berthelet, who famously disagreed with Proust that compounds are always formed from definite proportions. Proust spent the remaining years of his life near Angers, and a bust of him, sculpted by David Danger five years after his death, can be found at the David Danger Gallery at Angers. A memorial to him and his law of definite proportions can also be found at the Segovia Artillery School. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, or perhaps even check out my book, Episodes in Chemistry, From Philosophical Goals to Molecular Machines, available at Amazon. Thank you, and I hope to see you again soon.